Hi, I think I got it working. Can you hear me? Oh, hold on. I'm filming from my laptop and I still had my desktop on, so uh, I was getting an echo of myself. <laughs> Anyway, uh, is this a good camera angle, do you think, right there? Can everybody hear good? I just plugged my, I have a, uh, a USB Logitech camera with autofocus plugged into my laptop. I tried it from my desktop, but the sound was not good. It wasn't picking up the sound. Anyway, this is the little baby one I made this morning. Look how tiny that is. Okay, so that's the baby one. This is the middle sized one. And then this is the big one. So you can see the difference in the size. I already pressed the record button. Thank you for reminding me. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna set these aside and I'll show you what we need to start making them. Um, I used the Retro Flower Punch from EK Success. It comes in three different sizes. Hi, Counting Memory. <laughs> What's your first name? Um, and I also used the, it's a big clear die from Sizzix, the flower one. It says it's autofocus, so uh, I'm, I think I might have to get a different camera. I'm not pleased with the quality. But anyways, we'll give it a try. Um, so anyways, for the big one, I punch out three of the big flower. And I'm going to add um, another layer, a green layer for leaves. But this is optional. You don't have to have this layer. Oh, and I forgot my little ones. Where did I put my little ones? Okay, we're going to use these. And then for the smaller layer, you just need um, two of the next size down. Yes, I'm recording. Um, so anyways, I am not going to sponge the edges on this, but if I was going to sponge the edges, I would do it now. I would just take my sponge and like this one has the edges sponged. See the nice edge that that has on it. Um, Alright, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. So the next thing you do, I like to put a piece of paper down. I don't have a craft mat. I do have one on order from Jen, but uh, it's not here yet. So I just put a piece of paper down. Normally I would do this in a box, but uh, we'll do this here. And I'm going to just give it a shot of Glimmer Mist in uh, iridescent gold. To add a little shine. Thank you. <laughs> I'm only a little nervous because I don't want to miss any questions um, while I'm doing this. So anyways, this is iridescent gold. And I'm spraying it. And this will get your paper um, a little bit wet. You do want it wet because we're going to crumple it. But you don't want it so soaked it's going to tear when you crumple it. Now, the next thing I add, this is my secret ingredient. And anybody who irons should have some of this in their house. It's um, Easy On Spray Speed Starch in the spray can. And uh, what this does is it will allow the paper to hold its shape really well um, when in, after you crumple it and when heat set it. And so I just spritz a little bit of that on. No, I don't iron it unless you want a super flat, uh, uh, flat flower. But um, that could have come out really bad if I fumbled up on saying that sentence. Uh, so then all you're going to do is crumple all your layers up in a little ball. You have that spray? That's great. Because then you can make my flowers. Otherwise, I mean, you don't have to glimmer mist them. I made some without glimmer mist. You can cut these shapes out of paper. I've seen tutorials on people cutting out um, the flowers without having a die or a punch. So you can do that. Um, but you're just going to crumple them all up. 
and hopefully before they dry because you do want them wet for them to be crumpled. Yes, you could also use your Cricut uh, or any other flower shape. It doesn't have to be this shape. This shape just worked well for me because I had the three punches and I have the die so I could make the nice big flower too. So don't feel like you have to, like, I know when you see something you think, oh, I gotta have that, I gotta have that, I gotta have that. Find ways to make do with what you got. Use the flower punches that you have or the dies that you have for flowers. Now while it is wet, you do the only thing you want to be careful is that you don't tear the petals off. I have done that and I, it, they glue back on fairly easily, but um, you want to try not to do that. Actually, I forgot a step. I knew I was going to forget a step. Um, I can do it later. <laughs> um, so we'll just do it later and pretend it's later. Yes, an amputated flower. <laughs> They still look pretty. <laughs> All right, so then you can even let these, like like you could do this up and then you could just let them to dry. If you don't have a heat tool, you could use your hair dryer. Um, I'm going to use my heat tool and uh, they're going to blow around a little bit. And you want them fairly crumpled. So, and I'm just going to get them on all different sizes, sides, not sizes. <laughs> And you want to keep your heat gun moving because you don't want to burn the edges. I have done that. And the reason I'm drying it before I open it back up, because when it's so wet, when you open it back up, it is easier to tear the petals off. Um, in fact, if your paper's really wet, you want to make sure they're like that you let them sit to dry or heat dry them really well before you open them back up. The drier they are, the better. But they don't have to be completely dry. Um, we're going to completely dry them when they're open. All right, so now we're just going to open each of the layers. And you just open them carefully because they are all crumpled up. And like I said, you don't want to tear. But you don't want to open them flat. You, you're going to leave them so they're crumply. Like that's how I'm going to leave that petal. and they're still a little wet mostly to the center and that's okay the next step is going to finish drying your layer and so that's how I'm opening it can you see that? is it making sense so far? nobody's saying anything, did I lose ya? okay good All right. Now you can take your pokey tool or whatever you have to hold it down so it doesn't blow away. I'm using a knitting needle and then I'm just going to dry this a little more and as I move the heat gun around, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, it's kind of shrinking just a little bit and that's what you want. You want it to shrink. It's going to dry. It's going to be, it looks delicate. This looks delicate but it's actually pretty firm. I can crumple it and everything and it's still holding its shape. Okay. So now this is dry, you can set it aside and do the next layer. And this is taking longer because I'm explaining things as I go. And I, 